Welcome back, everybody, and thanks for joining us for another online business briefing here at smallcapvoice.com, and we're excited to welcome back IIoT Oxus, and specifically the CEO, Cliff Emmons. IIoT Oxus is on the OTC under the ticker symbol I-T-O-X. Pull up that ticker symbol on your favorite platform and go out to this dateline, Friday, December 16th. Here's the headline, IIoT Oxus Incorporated announces contract with Northeast CNC component manufacturer for a smart manufacturing proof of concept. There's other great news within this press release that we're going to touch on in a moment. But Cliff, first, welcome. Thank you so much for making time as always. Thanks, Stuart. It's always great to be here. And I know you're traveling, it's that time of year, but you've been very busy. So I know you're at a remote location. So viewers and or listeners, you may not be able to sync up the video with the audio. Cliff is again, traveling, remote location, still working as we can see Cliff by the news last week. Uh, this kind of took me by surprise. A lot of companies sort of turtle up this time, this time of year and put their head in the sand maybe is another way to put it but uh, you guys are pushing forward really hard and big big news here so let's get your take on it absolutely it, it, thanks so much for that Stuart. yes we are definitely running for the finish line of 2022 as strongly as possible and and the news that just came through on the wire on friday is a good example of that this is exactly what we've been working toward uh, you know, since early this year. Smart manufacturing is just such an important sector for us. Out of the three uh, sectors that we are in, it is by far the largest of all three. Uh, again, just to remind everybody, 64.9 billion in 2021, growing at 20.6 Kager, to a point where it'll be 165.5 billion in 2026. So it's such a critical uh, industry for us. And this smart manufacturing, also known as Industry 4.0, this is this is a technology that uh, and services that we have been highlighting and using the use cases from our partner Angura in Spain. Uh, and uh, this is really the culmination of that. So let, let me get to exactly what that is. We, we have connected with a really great small medium enterprise uh, CNC machining house here in the Northeast. And it is connected with um, our, our heritage of uh, being in the medical device industry, myself and um, my recently appointed uh, adv uh, advisor for smart manufacturing, Bob Mercier. Uh, together, uh, we have had excellent contact with uh, this, um, this CNC house, and we uh, used our voice of customer skills to basically really learn exactly what is behind some critical projects that they have going on at their plant. And they have uh, agreed to sign up for a proof of concept, a POC with us, that will start in January and uh, basically go through the first quarter. We'll probably wrap up about uh, you know uh, mid-April. And we are very excited about this. We are purposely using our algorithms, our uh, data gathering and predictive analytics to essentially look at how we will reduce downtime and uh, apply predictive maintenance uh, methodologies so that they can really raise the productivity of one of their most critical jobs. So very, very excited for this. Uh, we really do think uh, that it's it's going to be a proof of concept that's going to quickly follow in to a software as a service SaaS contract uh, with this company. And it really is the translation of some great European uh, proof of concepts and jobs that Angura has done in the past and now we're bringing that to the U.S., a combination of both our strengths uh, of both Angura and Oxus. So we uh, were very excited for this. Uh, we're going to be getting started in January. Uh, so definitely not taking any rest uh, over the holidays. We're going to hit the, uh, the ground running come January. 
Well, I foreshadowed some other great news embedded into this press release. And for those who may not be familiar with ITOX, that's the ticker symbol they're traded under, IIoT Oxus has got a very robust press wire. And we're mentioning Angura in here quite a bit. We've already done some interviews with principals at Angura. You can scroll back up through this news wire to find the news regarding this company, the collaboration and partnership between the two companies, but also another channel partner. And this is on the media side of things. IIoT World, you've got an IIoT World event coming up and I'm looking at it, 1,400 registrants. Um, there's quite a bit going on here. There's a lot embedded in here. So let's get your take on that part of the press release as well. Absolutely. And, and actually just a, a, a slight correction there. This event did take place on December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day, uh, and it was a great day for us. I hosted, um, I was one of three panelists on a panel that, that we sponsored for the event, and it was all about predictive analytics applied to both predictive maintenance as well as productivity uh, for manufacturing operations. It, it was a huge success. Uh, we were so excited. This is our first uh, event with IIoT World. Uh, so glad to have them as a partner for a media outlet of the great things that we're doing at Oxus and, and promoting our story. Uh, so the real takeaway about this is just as you mentioned, over 1400 people registered for this event, but most importantly, they opted in. So these are contacts that we have full and robust information to reach out to. They have been, they've actually requested uh, and uh, agreed that sponsors like Oxus can reach out to them. And, uh, and, and the beauty, beautiful thing about this is it's worldwide registrants. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think uh, the numbers were over 30 to 40% based here in the U.S., uh, but there will also be leads that we'll be able to forward to our partner, Angura. But let me focus on the actual event that we had that was live on the 7th. The replay of this video is available through uh, our press releases that, that are on our website, as well as my LinkedIn feeds. Uh, you can quickly uh, hone, hone in on how to see the rebroadcast of this panel. And on this panel, uh, we had over... 200 people watch the event live. And we are in the process now of reaching out both to those first 200, as well as the broader 1400 people to begin to reach out. And uh, I'll, I'll state it right here. We're offering a free consultation with these companies to do precisely what we have done with this CNC house I mentioned earlier sit down with them, understand what are the barriers to their productivity uh, challenges on their shop floors and apply our proprietary AI and machine learning algorithms to help them boost productivity and also achieve predictive maintenance. So we're so excited to have these two connected uh, opportunities right here. Uh, we're finishing the year so strong uh, we're really on track to make all the promises I've made about revenue, as well as uh, prospective uh, business going forward in 2023. So what a, what a great way to end the year. Yeah, and I got to tell you, it's been fun to interview you throughout the year. And it's also been fun to watch you dive into social media. You're absolutely right. Your Twitter and LinkedIn are both great ways to stay in touch and get your take on the news, your personal input on what's going on with your company. 2023 is setting up to be a watershed year for your company. I mean, I think anybody who's watched the company over the last six months, we can see the foundation that's being built. And it's not just a foundation. It feels more like a launch pad for your company. So Absolutely. kudos to you. Kudos to Karen. Uh, we don't get to see Karen on here very much, but we do have her on the quarterly earnings calls as well. So shareholders, I do encourage you to keep sending those questions to the company, to us here at Small Cap Voice. S. Smith at smallcapvoice.com is where you send the questions to me. Cliff, I want to wish you safe travels during this holiday season. I want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And of course, to all the iTalk shareholders out there as well, uh, Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. Any closing thoughts or comments for the shareholders and listeners and viewers? 
actually you captured captured it just perfectly steward did want to extend to you and your family and, and friends uh happy holidays and also to all the viewers here our shareholders our interested parties our customers uh thank you so much uh for helping us be the company we are and we really wish everyone the best in 2023 all right, for Cliff Emmons, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks for tuning in to this online business briefing brought to you by smallcapvoice.com.